How's it going, everybody? You just made it in time for another episode of Plucky Squire. Last session, I got 3D. I got the power gloves, so I'm good to go to start manipulating stories and whatnot. But I'm diving in to talk to Moonbeard and just start the next session. So here we go. Uh, jump, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter 3. Moonbeard. Oh, I guess I could have ended last episode going to chapter three. <laughs> uh, I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward then. He's got a pretty good theme already. Greetings, lad. Hey Jack, glad you're back in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is... Yes, I'm aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is... Yes, our entire world is indeed a land and a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow that greasy nincompoop hump grump found... Us. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning? I have a hunch that big trouble's on the way. That just means, we young squire, that he must be double the trouble. He must be double trouble. Follow me! First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? That you've already used for 20 minutes? Meta magic. That is... That is, it lets you break the fourth wall. Which is another way of saying, jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding this triangle button. What's the triangle button? Not entirely sure. But you should press and hold it. Okay. Testing, testing, ahem. Jot, I'm talking to you via ru rune tooth headset. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like paints. We must keep hydrated. Plants, not paints. Like plants. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Okay, first let's do some exploring around here. I can't roll yet on the 3D world. Probably gotta wait till I get a new weapon. Has anything changed around here? Is that supposed to be like a Pokemon card parody? We got Spawnzilla School Glue. I can appreciate I can appreciate the environment now that's daylight too. I actually see what I'm looking at. Actually, where is this taking me? What's up? Oh no! No, get back up there. That was a terrible jump. Can I jump off the rock? No, you have to take the ramp. This isn't a domino, what is this? It's just a small piece of wood? First thought was this was one of those, uh... Viewing... Viewing, uh, microscopes. Oh, come on. The, the, I thought they were binoculars, actually. Like the ones you'd see at, like, Niagara Falls kind of thing. I need to really make that jump. Instead of talking. There's something over. Unless it's just an invisible wall, but I don't think so. I think it's just me being bad. Okay, just walk. There. Oh, okay. You can find them outside the book. What do we got? At first, the interactive domino objectives are game were just normal dominoes. We realized it would make life much easier if they could only fall one way, however, and so the one-way domino object was born. Okay. And I've missed two already. That's not good. I definitely want to get to the page spinning so I can get to those... I need to get to the underground cave again, and I guess... If I can get back to nighttime to get the power glove and see if I can get that working. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use left and left to turn pages. 
Let's get to it then. Uh, you see that glow around the edges of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its pages. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. Okay. So now I gotta be on the lookout for glowing pages. Anything in my house? Oh, little guy. Glitch bug? Glitch bird, okay. It'll return to its home with joy and its little heart. Okay. It was worth coming in. I'm assuming we get his drink in his house? Yep. We got soda. A fizzy pop, that will do very nicely. Head back here and drop off drop off that pop. And now that I'm reading that, I also see another page. Yeah. Item behind the tree. What do we get? Hey, that's the one I was missing. Oh, the Cataclysm Caves, they're not particularly dangerous. I'm sure you'll be totally fine. The wizard fibbed. Uh, sketching how top-down character interactions might look, featuring an early moon beer design. I guess Pip used to be the cat, basically. Hey, a frog. Can we interact with the frog? No. Okay, hold the pages. It's still sparkling. So, I guess... No, don't turn the page. Go back. How do I... Oh no, it's still sparkling. The Moonbeard theme is the best song so far. Pop time! It only had two sips in it? Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. Those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them up on the desk. There are a number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of the precise location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy, you know, it's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll have to search for it yourself. That's point of order. It's Mini Beard. Mini Beard! Yo. Here you've already met. Mini Beard is a tiny simi simulacrum of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know? If you're in trouble with puzzle and you see him around, why not ask his advice? A lot of wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. God. Our land has never been troubled by something quite like Humgrum's meta, meta magic before. There may be great upheavals and big battles ahead. I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenges are thrown our, our way. You're the plucky squire after all. I believe in you. I always have, lad. No, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. Okay. Uh, before I turn the page, though... Or I, I guess I can't. Oh, we're going back. There's my sword. We've lost Jot, I can't believe it. We should have just let him come up here by himself. We should have had his back. What could we have done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been, never will be. Who will protect Mojo now that he's gone? Hey, go back. Oh, wow, you can really move the camera now to look around. Okay. I'm back! Jot! Dude. You're alright. Wait. You're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squidgy face. Squ squidgy? Squidgy? So happy to see it. Jot, where were ya? Hello, gang. Boombeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a Room 2 headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up, this business with Humgrump is rather worrying. You must consult with Queen Chroma at Arshia City, Artia? You three should head there now. I've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. 
Violet Thrash shall fall, fill you in on the situation while you travel. Boombeard out. Conference call. Well, you heard him. A trip to Arcia City, my hometown. Artia? Oh, John, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoop. Let's get my... I was gonna say hammer, but no, let's get my sword. Good to go. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping we go back the exact way we came, just so I can hope for finding that treasure. I guess so not. Our heroes set off to Artia City to visit okay, it's Artia. Queen Chroma. Chapter four. A treacherous trail. That chapter was like five minutes long. Sonnet swaps. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as the Sonnet Swamps. The goat, snails, and a frog. Well, this is unknown territory, kiddos. Jot, your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splattered, eaten by a huge frog. Who knows? Although these swamps are usually rather cultured, as far as I gather. The residents are here quite keen on poetry. If you ever wanted to hear a snail recite verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, you skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Okay, three hits from the throw. Yeah, I feel like if you have, if you don't have full health, you're getting a heart within like the next two enemies. Oh, I can roll again though. Speeds up everything here. Hey, in you get. This must be one of those portals Moonbeard was talking about. You Jot can just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. On the desk is a storybook in which we're all living. I'm a character in a story. My whole life is just a plotline. Sorry, it's just a bit much to take on board. Well, it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. I just wish I'd be written a little more cool. Okay, goodbye. He vanished. He must be in the other realm now. I wonder if he can still see us. I guess to him, we all look like drawings on a page. Gnarly. Can I... Okay, I can manipulate. But I can't go that way. Oh, there we go. It's very slow. Can I check this page? I would want to go back to the first areas just to see if I can find that those missing items. Is there anything I can do on this page? Doesn't look like it. I don't see that other guy either. Oh, wait. There he is. More money. That's it? Okay. I thought it was some story related mission. Okay, go back to the page I was on. Wait, how did I skip that? Hey, I'm fighting on my own now. The others are just waiting for me. Yeah, it seems to just be three hits. I can't get too close, or else it's just a free hit. A lot of nooks and crannies to check here. Oh! Oh, it's a door. Okay. Gotta check between the trees, gotta look around behind rocks in case of any collectibles. Okay. Can I drop it? Okay, you can. And then I gotta take the key through the portal and bring it out the other side. Nope. Come on, pick it up. Jump. Exit. Bring it all the way. Back in our world again. Simple as that. I really wonder what it's like out there. It's boring out there, Violet. Don't worry about it. Anything to take? Nope. Gotta go, go for the Goomba stomps. Oh man, that's a big jump! There we go. Let's go down, yep. I wasn't expecting the super jump on the way up. Like, right here. Hey, bad takes more hits than the Goomba. Probably because I leveled it up. The blade taught the sword ring is gonna work well here. On the 2D plane. Now you can just throw it at stuff that's ahead. 
Uh, just keep going, yeah. A huge bug sat in the middle of the path. Humongous bugs look like it's full of water. If it wasn't so huge, we could get around it and be on our way. Okay, which word? Huge. I guess just kill everything along the way. Tiny frog observed the bug. Do I have to bring the word big to the frog, maybe? Hey, okay, there we go. Oh, there's Mini Beard. A full bug? That barely did anything to him. Okay. I'm not gonna bring a word with me yet. Just in case I take the wrong one. If you're filled that big old mode of full of water, you might be able to access something somewhere useful. Okay, the rusty gate was closed. First, let's check down here. Nothing. Gotta deal with all these bugs. Hopefully it's not a dead end for nothing. Looks like it. Okay, so I need to raise the water. That way the lily pads will raise. I can just walk over those. The rusty gate was... I don't know. What words do I got? Full. Huge. Any frog. Full and huge. I think it was huge. I guess we'll go in here first. Oh, do I have to go? Oh, wait, here we go. No, I can't do anything there. Rusty Gate was full huge. I'm wondering if I have to go to a different page. Oh, closed. A closed bug? Nothing. Just to see what would happen if I put in random words. Can't even talk to them. Uh, I'm wondering if I need to go to definitely another page to grab a different word that I've used before, then bring it back. My current idea. I'll walk this all the way, just to test. Oh, oh, wrong way, okay. That's the way they're gonna do it. Close bug, and then we're just close of bugs. Try full. Hey, put that in. Pick it up. Nothing. Okay, need a new word. I'll put this here. Probably the one I did before. Looked rather un disagreeable. Where was that shimmer noise? 
No, not there. Yeah, I guess you can only go as far back as the chapter you're on? Very slow scrolling through these pages. Just looking for anything that might catch my eye. Hop in. Okay, one check I want to do is if we went down and left the kingdom. Oh, okay. Oh, it takes us back here. That's not that great. All I got are three words. Can I leave with it? Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, but doing this, I wouldn't get anything. I can jump down and walk all the way and put him in there. Oh wait, here we go. I'm already stuck at like 20 minutes into the game, this session. See if there's anything I've missed. Anything? No. I don't think there's anything here that I overlooked. Oh! There we go, okay. Now it all makes sense. Drained. Oh, gotta jump. Mo was completely blank of water. Closed of water, huge, full of water. So, full of water is the right answer. Drained, though? This one? Nope. He's he's a pancake. Okay, full. Oh. Walk this all the way, fill the water, and then I can start checking the uh, locked gate and whatnot. Oh, I have to go in. There! Piece of cake! Hey, okay, there we go. Nothing over there. Uh, do I want to take full back though, maybe? Uh, let's see. I hit the switch. I don't think I need full again. Oh, just drained of bugs. Nope. Gate. Rusty gate was 
tried huge, drained, closed. Was full. Drained. I don't know. Did I hit the switch? I think I did. Yeah, okay, it's hit. Oh, is it not going back to empty water? Nothing. What's he saying? We hit the switch when I get down to the bottom of the moat. I find a handy word down. Oh! Okay. Uh. I need to go down, so I need drained. That's what I forgot. I forgot the gate opened underwater. So run this all the way back. I uh, just peered into the open gate. Okay, pick it up. So I need to take this to the gate, open it. That'll take me to the next frog, the frog with the sentence, the sentence with the frog, grab the word and then probably use it on the front gate. There. It's back to being a normal size gate too. A tiny frog. Okay, up down. Whew, that took a while. Don't have to fight it? Oh, you don't have to fight it. Goodbye, tiny insect dude. Awesome job, Tot. Or, uh, Jot. Ah, uh, you really got a grasp of the power of words. All just amazing, really. Huge to tiny, full to empty. Change the words, you can change well everything. I guess the story in this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story characters are not so fixed either, do you know? Away I go. I thought we'd be already in the next kingdom, the Artia. Here's Minari. What's his name? Come on, interact with him. Uh, Martina. Ah, uh, we meet again. I'm gonna take a look at my current selection. Art scroll. No damage though. I'll buy the little things. Or not. There. More art for the collection. Another dropped idea. Ah, uh, some early concept of a game environment. Spooky. What's next? We got mini beard. Got some goblins. Okay. Got rid of the Goombas. Talk to Minibeard. If you turn the pages, you might retrieve a useful word. A word that could get you across the slimy, swampy water. If I give it a go, something to do with it at least. A tiny lily pad flowing in the water. No words. Tiny lily pad. I guess take it. Anything I'm missing? I 
Anything? No. Really? There's no other portal? Nothing. Did that do anything? A tiny lily pad. Still destroyed. Looks as much cash as I can. I just bought a whole bunch. All oh, right, it said go to a different page. Problem is, I don't know what page it's referring to. Uh, let's see. It could be this one. It's glowing. The clothes, the huge, a tiny. Hey, uh, put me back in. Tiny, huge, ah, uh, start with tiny, maybe? See if there is a better word. I need to go to another page. A... Yeah, I think it's large. A tiny. Yeah, okay. It's the wrong one. Huge. There. That's all I need. Anything else? No. So all the way back. Turn the page. There. And then in back and I go. Come on, hop in. There. That took a while. Oh wow, it's huge! Okay, perfect. Anything to collect for it? Not really. Is that the end of the swamp? No, nope. fish out of water. Look over there, poor flippery floundering fish. Let's help the fish. Jot cleared oh. his mind. Now he was ready to grab the fish. Oh. Oh, it, no tutorial, just X. There we go. Thumbs up. Fish grabbed. The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. And there, it regained its composure. Ooh, thank you so much, noble traveler. My name is Flotio, and I am a fish. Green lightning zapped me out of these waters. And soon by fear, I flipped and flopped. Till my hand, my fugue was, had, was stopped. I'm going to turn in your debt, but you must forgive me. I must go. My beloved swims this reedy fine. I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviors. What extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. Okay, I guess we'll come back to the fish eventually.